Welcome to Storytime with Miss Chante. And today I have a story for you about the rubber legged ducky. And it's by John G. Keller. The rubber legged ducky. One sunny day while Mama Duck was in the farmyard nibbling on weeds and chomping on bugs, she accidentally ate a rubber band. Now Mama Duck didn't think much about that rubber band, but the next time she hatched a brood, she noticed something strange. One, two, three, Four said quack quack as they tapped out of their shells. But five did no such thing. He tried bing bong. And then that fifth duckling followed his brothers and sisters down to the pond for the first swim. He didn't waddle. Five bounced and more than just a little. Mama's heart skipped a beat. She drew five under her wing and said softly, Five, listen to me. You are different from the others, but you are my special ducky. That means you can do special wonderful things. Most of the other animals saw nothing special about Five. He bounces, snickered the goat. He doesn't quack, squealed the pigs. That duckling is bad news, muttered the rooster. Mama Duck paid those animals no attention. Instead, she gathered her ducklings about her and she told them about life on the farm and she warned them about two things to watch out for. Hawks and foxes, especially foxes. The ducklings all listened and nodded. They then they went about their business. Five soon showed why he was special. I can't reach those berries, cried Two. Five just bounced high on his rubber leg, grabbed the tallest branch and held it down so the Two could nibble the sweet fruit. Every afternoon, Five let Three strum on his leg while he sang a duet. Thrum, thrum, bing, bong, quack. They thought they sounded great together. And then he saw a bully piglet. Pick up four. Five thought a minute. Then he lassoed the piglet's nose with his rubber leg and wouldn't let go until the bully squealed. Sorry. And then one afternoon while the farm animals dozed in the sun, a gang of crows wheeled across the sky. Fox! Fox! In the neighborhood! They crowed. Watch out! The animals quickly assembled. Don't worry, grunted the pigs. We can smell a fox way off. Pew! Plenty of time to warn you. I'll butt him added the goat. I'll crow my best to alert the farmer. That will solve the problem, bragged the rooster. Then he gave a great crow just to show off. Five said nothing, but he had ideas of his own. Sure enough, the very next night the fox came calling. All the animals were sleeping. Not an oink 
or a crow was heard. The moon shone on the fox, very white, very sharp teeth. Yum, he thought as he licked his lips. I smell duckling. At that instant, Five opened his eyes. Bing bong, cried Five, sounding the alarm. Fox, run everyone! And the chase was on. Mama Duck led her ducklings to the water. Splash! One, two, three, and four followed close behind. Splash, splash, splash. Hurry, Five, they quacked. Run! But Five stayed right where he was. Hey, old foxy loxy, he teased. You can't catch me. The fox turned towards Five and opened his great, big, gleaming jaws. Boing! Five shot his rubber leg right into the fox's mouth. The fox bit down, but Five was very brave. So he didn't care. He just flapped his wings and paddled with his one leg as hard as he could. And he flapped and he paddled and a wonderful thing happened. Five's rubber leg began to stretch and stretch and stretch until it could stretch no more. Silly duckling, the fox thought. Now you will be my tasty supper. But oh, that fox was wrong. Five folded his wings, stopped paddling, and then suddenly went zooming towards, backwards across the water. Bang! He hit that astonished fox right square on the no on the nose. Boing! cried Five. Yow! yelps the fox and when he opened his jaws, Five jumped back into the water and swam for safety. The sound of all that quacking, bonking, and yelping woke up the farmer and he ran to the pond and he chased that fox away. All the animals gathered around five. You're brave, batted the goat. Clever, oinked the pigs. Special, agreed the rooster. Very special. Pleased that his plan had worked so well, five modestly nibbled some grass there was a small silence. Then Mama Duck said, Well, I think we've all had enough excitement for one evening. It's time for a soothing swim and then back to sleep. Come along, children. Mama Duck hopped into the pond and then she and her five duckling swam away, quacking and bing-bonging into the moonlight. The end. Well, I hope you enjoyed the story of the rubber-legged ducky. Tune in next time. Have a great day. Bye.